Welcome back coding fans. Here we are at Random Gems Everywhere. Uh, and as you can see, they tend to be all over the place. So let's take a look at where they're going to pop up. So this one's weird. It says I have eight gems to collect here at the top, but I only see six, which means that they could randomly pop up as we go through. So sometimes we get a nice one where they only give us one or two. Sometimes they give us one like this where it's a ton of them. They're kind of all over the place. Um, so we're going to need to take into account everything that could possibly happen. So because we get a different number of gems every time, we've got this thing called total gems. And I'm going to declare a variable gem counter, capital C-O-U-N-T-E-R, so that our character knows when to stop. Otherwise, our character will just keep going until um, they'll... Or they'll never, never stop because they won't know how many gems to count or go. So let's go ahead and see what's up. So our character is going to need to move forward while collecting gems. It does not appear they're going to need to turn right or left. So we're just going to use the, um, the portals to move around. So let's go ahead and write our while loop and compare how many gems we have. So while our gem counter is less than however many gems they assign us. You could use not equals to as well, that's fine. So total gems. This way there's no hard number count, that way we don't need to worry about it. And we want them to move to the very end of each row. So we say, okay, while we are not blocked, our character is going to move forward. But because, let's get moved forward, there we go. But because we don't know where it's going to be, where these gems are going to be, we're going to need to have our character check what's going on. So if on the square we just moved on to, there is a gem. So if is on gem, we're going to collect the gem and count the gem. So collect gem and then gem counter will increment our gem counter plus equals one. So we'll add one to our total. And that will get our character to the end. We'll run this and see how this goes. Right, speed you up a little bit. Goes through there, goes all the way to the end, and now we're kind of stuck. Notice we're not doing anything, but if we step through our code, we're blocked. There's nothing for him to do. We're stuck in an infinite loop. So, Outside of our while loop, we want him to understand, okay, if you get blocked, if it's blocked, we're going to turn around. And we want that to return outside of our while loop um, so that we don't get stuck in a different infinite loop. So if it's blocked, we're going to turn around. So turn right, turn right, or turn left, turn left. And then looking at it, in order for our character to turn around uh, and go get the gem that's on the other side of the portal, we need to turn that portal off. But we're going to write a little bit better code. Notice that both the blue and the pink portals are on. So if I check one and have one control both, then I can go everywhere. So let's do that. So let's check to see what's going on. So we're going to say if. The blue portal's right here, so I'm going to have the blue portal run everything. So if blue portal dot is active, we're going to use double equals. So if it's on, true. All right, that double equals is comparing. Or you're checking, is it on? If it is on, then we're going to turn it off. Blue portal dot is active. Single equals, we're telling it to turn it off. Not just it, we're going to have them turn both off both the blue portal, now the pink portal dot is active equals single equals, we're telling it to turn it off as well. So what this says is if the blue portal is on, because if the blue portal is on, the pink portal is on, then turn them both off. Click L, uh, click the if, turning it blue, getting a black pop-up box. And we're going to say otherwise, else, and we're going to turn them both off. So I'm going to just uh, tap beside false here and select blue portal and pink portal, this whole thing. Tap the blue box, hit copy. I'm going to paste it in that code. 
So I hit in there and I had to delete it so that I can paste it. And instead of false, I'm gonna change them both to true. And what this says, uh, true, there you go, is if the blue portal is on, turn both of them off. Otherwise, which means it'll be off, turn both of them on. So let's go ahead and roll this and see what we have going on here. All right, we've got three to get. Um, we'll run this a little bit faster and we'll see if it turns both of them off after he turns around. Both of them are off. We'll go get that one. All right. And then it stops after he turns them back on again. Let's go ahead and run this again and see if we can't get a more complete map. Okay, sure enough. We've got five gems to collect. We'll keep running. We'll run this a little bit faster. This will allow our character to get all the spots in the middle. Back on this will character to get all the spots on this one. Okay, and if another one popped up, we'd be able to do that. This is how we get this one, random gems everywhere. All right, see you in our next lesson, which is initialization. Have a great day.